If you are one of the millions of people who are having difficulty with your memory, confused, can't think like you used to, as well as affecting your life in negative ways, then this video is going to help you. I know a lot of you have watched videos about mental decline, but here is why this video is a game changer. It is featuring insights from renowned doctors like Dr. Eric Barr and Dr. Ellen Mandel. We will tackle the pressing issue of memory loss and dementia, offering answers to the questions you've been pondering. To kick things off, we will ask Dr. Mark Hyman, the creator of the Ultra Wellness Blog, a vital question. Is it truly possible to reverse memory loss or is it just a notion? Now, now, to put this in perspective, you know, mental decline happens progressively and sometimes quickly, uh, sometimes slowly, but never gets better according to our traditional medical thinking. But just like we thought heart disease and plaque in the heart couldn't be reversed before we thought that, now we have proof that does happen. And I believe that dementia can be reversed if caught early enough by attending to all the factors that affect brain function, diet, exercise, stress, nutritional deficiencies, toxins, hormonal imbalances, inflammation, and more. Then we'll seek wisdom from Dr. Eric, who has spent over three decades educating us on health. Dr. Burke, could you enlighten us on this early signs of dementia? Now, what are the first signs of dementia? Number one, loss of navigation, spatial memory. Now, what is that? That has to do with locating yourself in time and space. So let's say, for example, you're trying to figure out where did I park my car? Or you're having problems with direction when you're driving somewhere and you're completely and utterly dependent on the GPS. All right, number two is um, it's taking you longer to find the right words. Number three, you're more easily confused. Now, of course, there's a lot of things in life that we're confused about, but if you just to compare your past to the present, is there some type of drop in clarity? I mean, that could be one thing. Number four, you're repeating yourself. Now, there's many other symptoms of dementia, but these are the early signs. We have also heard that increasing keto levels might be key to combating dementia. Dr. Bark. Can you share some practical ways to increase our ketone levels? So how do you increase ketones? Three ways. You lower your carbs. Get on a healthy keto eating plan. You start doing fasting. I have a link down below of how to do intermittent fasting. Going on low carbs will increase ketones a certain amount, but when you're doing fasting, you greatly elevate the amount of ketones that the brain can use. Now, the other thing you can do as a transition step and to enhance this process is to start taking MCT oil, which will give you ketones directly. You can also take exogenous ketones in a tablet form. They're a little more expensive. This is a lot less expensive. Um, but the key is getting more ketones in the brain. That is going to immediately start turning things around for you. Some other things that I would recommend. DHA. This is a healthy fat. It's an omega-3 fat, it's in fatty fish, it's in cod liver oil. A good portion of your brain is made from this. Zinc and vitamin B1, vital for supporting certain parts of your brain that can regenerate, like the hippocampus. So get your B1 from nutritional yeast, get your zinc from shellfish or a good supplement, or even beef or organ meats. It's much more bioavailable. But vitamin B1 and zinc directly support the hippocampus, which is part of the brain that is severely damaged when you have Alzheimer's. The other thing you have to realize is that if you have dementia, there's probably some hypoxia going on, which means that you have a lack of oxygen or a part of the brain that's just not getting the blood flow it needs. So exercise is vital to increase oxygen, as well as doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And there's even a therapy of restricting the brain of oxygen while you exercise. 
but you would do that intermittently to increase oxygen, which will increase stress and cause your blood to carry more oxygen. So that's another therapy, but let's focus just on exercise right now and potentially doing the hyperbaric. The other thing that's really important is getting enough sleep. If you have a sleep problem, like sleep apnea, for example, that can create hypoxia and decrease the oxygen to the brain. Or if you're getting a lack of sleep, that instantly increases your risk for prediabetes, insulin resistance, and other health issues. And so one way to kind of reset your sleep patterns is to start taking vitamin D and take it probably minimally at 10,000 IUs every single day. And you're gonna find that you're gonna start sleeping better. That's just one thing, there's many things, but that can definitely help you, as well as just taking vitamin D in general, which directly improves brain function. All right, there you have it. Now, if you are not already a subscriber of this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share this video. After gathering this knowledge, we'll visit Dr. Ellen Mandel, who will introduce us to superfoods that can have a positive impact on our brain health. So let me share my concoction with you. These superfoods are not only going to help your body, but they're going to help your brain. Spinach is rich in magnesium, an important nutrient in maintaining nerve function and improving memory. It's rich in brain healthy nutrients like vitamin K, lutein, folate, and beta carotene. This will help slow cognitive decline. Apples boost the brain with antioxidants. It improves brain health, including a reduced onset of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. It also helps improve memory by preventing the decline of the essential neurotransmitter known as acetylcholine. They are critical for good memory and brain health. Beet juice is loaded with nitrate, which is converted from nitrite to nitric oxide in the bloodstream. This helps relax and dilate your blood vessels, bringing more oxygen-rich blood to the brain and boosting its performance. This improves the connections between the neurons found in the motor regions of the brain. Cucumbers have many health benefits, and one of them is better memory and the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Cucumbers are a good source of B vitamins, which are vital for brain function and mood. They also contain a lot of vitamin K, which helps blood clotting. Lemons are loaded with vitamin C, which is beneficial for your immune system. They contain potassium, which is helpful for your nerve cells and stimulating brain function. Most people relate ginger to nausea or digestive problems. The antioxidant effects of ginger root safeguard the neurons or the nerve cells of the brain against oxidative stress and chronic inflammation. That's what helps prevent neurodegenerative diseases. No matter how healthy you eat, heavy metals are everywhere. Let's start with food. If your diet includes processed foods, chances are you're consuming heavy metals. The air we breathe is polluted and is sometimes high in heavy metals. The water we drink can be high in heavy metals due to plumbing that may contain lead. Our drinking water can sometimes have unhealthy levels of arsenic. The biggest problem is that heavy metals accumulate not only in the body, but in the brain. So heavy metals do pose a threat to the brain. They form a neurotoxin, which is a poison that disrupts nerve function and confuses your immune system. These heavy metal neurotoxins inflame and irritate our central nervous system, causing multiple symptoms. And this is where the miracle of cilantro comes in. This helps remove harmful heavy metals, as well as protecting your brain. So let's share this special concoction for your brain health. So you're going to add two cups of spinach, one apple cord, one beet, one cucumber, one half lemon, one inch of fresh ginger, and a handful of cilantro. Use a nut milk bag or cheesecloth if you're using a blender. That's if you don't have a juicer. But most important, drink it immediately. So drink this daily, preferably on an empty stomach or between meals. 
This nutrition is going to help the neurotransmitters within your brain function better. You're going to see great results. I ask you to share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. And if you are considering starting a keto diet but feel overwhelmed, Dr. Eric has some straightforward advice that could make all the difference. Trust his guidance and you will be well on your way. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.